Welcome back. We go to great lengths to keep our pets safe. When the seasons change, new hurdles from allergies to insects pop up. But to truly keep your pets safe, just like us, we have to start on the inside out. So veterinarian Dr. Mike Hutchinson is here with some groundbreaking news when it comes to our pets gut health. This is, this so, is interesting. so interesting and we understand You've really been given quite an honor recently. I have been. They asked me to be one of the scientific advisors on the board to this, but I'm as excited about this microbiome research that I'm going to share right now as I am about stem cells. That's how exciting it is. So they took some nude mice, or they call them bubble mice. They, they control the environment of these mice in research, and they took the microbiome. The microbiome is a good bacteria, fungi, viruses that are in our gut and they help okay. us just digest food they help our immune system they help fight off disease is what they do so when that's not not balanced we can be in trouble well they took depressed people and gave the microbiome to happy mice and they became depressed they took obese people and gave the microbiome to those mice they became obese <gasps> lean people to obese mice they became lean so wow. it's very, very exciting that now we're down to what those bacteria, those good bacteria are secreting. We call them micrometabolites, really small things that can help control our bodies, mental health, depression, right. anxiety, maybe wow. Parkinson's disease, maybe cancer, a lot of things, inflammatory diseases, irritable bowel syndrome, Crohn's disease. It's exciting. It's endless. So tell us how this, this helps you in your range of field because you know we think about this you think of microbiome you think of humans right and you're mentioning Parkinson's and a whole lot of things yep. but this also applies to dogs and cats so dogs and cats get these same diseases not so much Parkinson's but they get inflammatory diseases like irritable bowel syndrome they get allergies you know where their skin gets you know, resistant bacteria on it secondary to the allergies so if we can balance that or maybe take a fecal sample that's how it's done analyze it down to the micro RNA real real small particles and find out this isn't just looking at the bacteria there it's looking at what they're secreting or not secreting wow. and then replacing maybe that one microbiome that that animal individual animal needs or individual person this is great news for people and animals and Dr. Vasilis Paspaliris I did an interview with him last night he's in Australia and I, I'm going to air it on Saturday. It's very exciting news of what they're doing for people and animals. And I'm just proud to be able to bring it to the veterinary world. What can people, what can pet owners be doing now? I mean, to talk about gut health, it actually reminds me of you told me to give Marvin these little packets. For the flora. Yeah, yeah. That, that help so, it, the, in his stomach. Yeah, so that's all I have. A lot of people are familiar with that right now. I'm glad you brought that up. So we'll prescribe a probiotic, for the flora, which mm -hmm. is a great blend of bacteria that brings balance back to the animals. But some animals, they get worse. They call me up, Dr. Mike, my dog's diarrhea got worse. And I say, okay, stop it because we don't have it tailored to that individual. We have that herd treatment, you know, where we treat them all with what we believe is the best balance of bacteria. And it helps in some cases, and in some cases it doesn't help. But now I can hone, home in on what's going on in that specific yeah. animal right. through a fecal sample where they analyze it, and then they can say through a number of assays, and it's really, really detailed. This microbiome institute is, is, uh, is it's just incredible how many levels they go to. It's fascinating. Well, and this out. I feel like we could talk about this for a long time, but the interview airs this weekend on KDK Radio is um, or on your podcast. Actually, I'm doing it on my podcast. Okay, great. And, uh, but I can share it with KDK, absolutely. That's awesome. So. awesome. Okay, so we want to also ask you about some springtime allergies because we've had this yeah. kind of wave of <laughs> seasons yes. the last couple of weeks. So what should we be looking for in our pets? So the big thing, you're right, springtime is when a lot of the allergies start. We get the pollens, they start back out. So we can prepare for that, get, make sure they're on omega-3 fatty acids. Those are natural anti-inflammatories. We get them from fish oil. And maybe an air purifier, something that helps take the pollens out of the indoor air Got that it. can help our pets. Dramatic changes when you do that. Get one that's rated. I, I do a blog on this stuff now, and I can't, Lavoie, I think, is one I use. I just happen to like it. I'm plugging them because it works in my house. Wait, and say it, that again? What's the name? Lavoie, L-E-V-O-I-T. Okay. That's the one I get. There okay. are others I'm sure are good. It's just the one that we used, and I really like it. I, you know, it takes the dust particles out of the air. You can see, you know, when the sunbeam comes in, I don't see any dust. Oh, it makes me gosh. really happy. That drives me crazy. I know. I, know. I hate the sunbeams. Sun when, when you see all that floating in the sunbeam, yeah. you, you know where like, that's oh. going. In. Right, so, right in. So that would be really good to get on top of now. And those are things you can do to help prevent it. If they're having problems with 
with itching and things, then certainly your veterinarian will help with those individuals. The other big thing this spring is going to be the ticks right. because we had such a mild winter. Yeah. We didn't kill a lot of them off. We're already seeing so many ticks every day. Uh. I, I just warn people they carry so many diseases. Please, if you're not giving a flea and tick prevention, you know, get your animal on one, speak to your veterinarian and make now. sure that you're doing that. That helps protect us because right, sure. those ticks come in on our animal, and guess what? Then we get bit and we can get and those And you're not even looking for it because you don't think that you're you've been out hiking in the woods exactly, and you know, all that. Exactly. All right, Dr. Mike, thank you so much. Really you're welcome. Stuff. Yeah, so absolutely, it's fascinating. All right, Dr. Mike Hutchinson of Animal General in Cranberry, of course, is a regular PTL contributor and you can look for him on his podcast and on KDKA Radio as well.